You mentioned Frank Sinatra, his, his comeback special. What, what was that like? Well, it's the first time uh, tape was ever done at Paramount Studios. Uh, Howard Koch, we had a good relationship. And Howard used to be in partnership with Sinatra when they had a, a joint company together when they were doing features. And Frank had gone to Vegas to retire, and he was bored. And he came back after two years of a big comeback special, Oh Blue Eyes is Back. And, uh, and this is another one of those things. We had audience all the way around the 360 at this stage. And John DeCur was the art director who did the first Oscars with all the turntables and all that, the movie art director. And he did this one. We had two gigantic turntables and a treadmill in the center between them. And so the opening number was Frank coming on the treadmill, and we had people in black tie and tuxedos going around on the, like he's walking through the crowds of hundreds and hundreds of crowds because as the extras go by, they go back and, and fill up on the turntables coming all the way around like that. And finally at the end, he'd step off and he was there amongst all the people. It worked. <laughs> Frank uh, gave me one take. He gave me an hour and a half of rehearsal uh, two days before, but then one day before, he gave me another take to tape, a number with he and Gene Kelly. Big dance number. And it came off magnificently. But he would not do a second take. And that was it. We knew he would give us one take. Got through with doing the show in there with this big, the big show at Paramount. He had everybody going to Chasen's for Chili. And I said, Frank, I got to talk to you. He said, OK, what do you got, Marty? And uh, he said, you better be good. He says, yeah, I want to redo your dialogue. He goofed it. He says, I said, OK, you got to do it over, man. The production numbers are great. You got to redo some of the dialogue. Let me see it. He looked at it. You fix it. I'm off to Chile. I'm not going to let up, my friends. He walked out. <sighs> That's Frank. And I had to do cut around and the rest of it. I made it work, but we did it. Frank, we did a lot of shows together, many, many, many shows. But that was the first, first show there with Frank. The next show with Frank was when I did Reagan's inaugural in Washington. He produced and I produced. He starred and I directed. And it was the uh, time where he and Dean had a falling out and they never resolved that until the day they both died. And, but it was a huge, huge thing, a huge show. And uh, then it was also with uh, 10 remote trucks all over Washington. This is not the parades, this is just the gala and the, uh, all the big balls. At the, afterwards, it was coast to coast and all around the country. Ed McMahon hosted that out of the Dorothy Channel. I mean, no, the, not the Dorothy Channel, the Kennedy Center. And uh, Elizabeth Taylor was one of our hosts at the Smithsonian. We had, we had a different star at each place. And it was huge, but Frank was very, and very together on that show. Uh, he was a pleasure. I did another one with him in the Bicentennial down at Jefferson Memorial. And uh, we had a 200 piece orchestra down there from the military, 400 voice choir. This general was conducting. He had done Costa off to the side. He was going to do this song, and he didn't like what he was hearing. It was this with the orchestra, the conductor, and I, and he, and, and, and I said, I got to talk to him. And he, somebody, the stage manager, had given him the intercom, and I said, Frank, um, you got to do this. What's him? He says, I don't want to get rid of him. I says, he can't. This is his swan song. He's going to go to the Pentagon and get all these people removed. He says, get him out. Don, come on, Don in there. Don Costa's going to conduct this, and you better roll tape because this is it. He's waving to Don Costa to come in. He says, get that general out. And he says, roll it, Marty. He took away the intercom, put his mic on, and I rolled, and we did it in one take. By the time he finished that song, he was coming down through all the choirs and the rest of it. Don did it, and Don stepped aside, and the, the general was over on the phone. They were getting all the people. Cannons were going off, and he went up and said, Marty, did you get it? Got it. <laughs> and it was it. It was always something different with Frank. <laughs> Never easy. When you have a one take Frank Sinatra, those years as a live director mm -hmm. really come in handy. Exactly. Exactly. But in, in something at that time, and when we did that, um, we were far enough along in years that we could have some ISO tapes. 
And so I did have ISO tapes on him and on the orchestra and the singers and the rest of it. I put it together later. So it's it, that was a much easier time where, it, but it's still live. You you get one shot with him. Oh, in the very very end, I forgot about it until this is a second. At the very end, he went starting to do like this and his whole thing like this, and he had, and he went silent. I said, where is it? Audio. He's dead. Look at his hand. I said, look at his hand. He's got the mic. I said, Sam, I went out in the PA system. I said, Frank, look at your hand. I've lost the last eight bars. He had pulled the cable out of the mic. He put it back in and says, Rolt, keep that tape rolling, Marty. Done. Give me the last eight bars, ten bars. You fix it. Marty. Put it in. Give me the last ending. It went. That was it. 